Hello everyone and welcome back. If you remember in the last video when I repaired this tumbler and my three pound tumbler, I said that once I got to Louisiana we were going to start tumbling and polishing some rocks. Well I just got down here a few days ago and it's time to get that step one in and get it tumbling. So for this time here I'm just going to use one of my six pound tumblers. I'm not going to use the other six. I don't think I have enough rocks really to fill up two of them. For step one now, we're going to want to fill this up about three quarters of the way with rock or with tumbling material. If you don't have that much rock, you're going to have to have a filler. They have the little ceramic filler that I have out there or you're going to have to get some other kind of rock. You just want to make sure it's about three quarters of the way full. In the last video we took a look at some of the rocks that were in this one here but some of my really good agates here I had sent down to Louisiana anyway but some of these are going to come out really really nice like you can just see the lines in that one. Several of these are like that so anyway we're going to just start putting these in here. One thing you do want when you're filling these up though is one third of the three quarters of this rock they should be the size of like a marble or even a little bit smaller so I'm gonna have to add some smaller rocks in here because I don't really have any that are that size but just go through your rocks if you're you know if you have more rocks that can fit in here just like pick out the coolest looking ones you know so and you kind of want to like like hardness rock so which is hard I don't know what all of them are but I know that this one here has a soft part in here so I'm not gonna want to really throw this one in here I can uh, but it could screw up the polishing process later on. I mean right now it would just grind down to nothing and maybe all this soft stuff would be gone and I wouldn't have to worry. But I'm just going to avoid it completely and just stay with real rocks that are just solid all the way through. This rock right here, I don't know what that'll turn out like. It's got like this dark, like a black part in there so that's interesting. And this one is a little big to go in here. I mean, I'm gonna put it in anyway, but I, w I really would like to break it open, but I never do that. But like, it just looks like a regular old rock, but then when you see this right here, there's a spot of quartz right there, so it's just hard to say what that'll, what it'll look like once it gets really kind of ground down. Well, right now my tumbler is roughly about halfway full, so I need to add to it. Like I said, I'm not gonna add the little ceramic uh, filler stuff that goes in there. I went ahead and I bought this was like a beginner's mix of rocks. They were cheap. I was already uh, sending out to get all of my grit for this so I just threw this on the order. And sometimes this is kind of fun. I remember the very first time that I polished rocks I got a little small sampler thing of a couple pounds of they were these banded rocks from Namibia and they were purple and quartz in there and they were just really beautiful. And the neat thing about this is when you get these they give you a lot of small pieces so you're getting the small stuff that you need that's under the size of a marble. And you look at this here like most of this, this stuff is just going to grind down a lot of it to almost nothing but at least it's doing what I need it to do. I'd say that's about three quarters of the way full. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put in our grit for step one. You guys can get a look at this. This stuff always kind of reminds me of a ground up, I don't know, like lava rock or something. It's got the little shiny stuff in there and it's just, I mean it's fine, but yet it almost feels like little pieces of metal or something. Okay, as far as amounts of grit per tumbler, this is a six pound tumbler. This one's gonna take 10 level tablespoons. If I was using my little three pounder, I would have done five. If you're using a 12 pound, you would use 20. And if you're using a 15 pound, you would use 25 tablespoons. They even make a four and a half pound one and that you're supposed to use eight. But for this one here, this is a six pound, so we are gonna take 10 level tablespoons of the grit and we're just going to dump it in there. But 
The next step after that, we're going to add water to this. And we want the water to come in so it just comes up through the rocks. It doesn't, almost covers them, but not quite. Uh, I'll show you. So this is pretty much how you want your water to look like inside of your tumbler. Once you have that done, put your cap on. All right, well this one is ready to go into the tumbler and start rolling. Uh, write down the date that you put this in because believe me, eventually you're gonna forget what day you did it. We're going to leave this one in for seven days. They say leave it in for a week. You can do it from five to seven on this first grind down. Uh, I, you can check it at five and see if you like your rocks, but usually seven days is pretty good. And then we're going to take it out, and then we'll start that next step and clean them, and we're going to end up doing this for about four weeks. One thing that's nice about having this double six versus just a 12 pound tumbler, I can fill up the one six pounder and I, I go ahead and I label it that one's A, this one is B. If I have more rocks and I'm still collecting rocks, I can start this one today and if I had more rocks three days from now I can then start this one. I don't have to wait for the whole process to get over and I can have multiples going at the same time. But then you have to do really good record keeping. Since we're just doing the one, I'm going to take this one out, that one can just set over there and then we'll just run this one only. Well, thanks a lot for watching. That's all there is to step one. This is just going to sit here and tumble for the next seven days, 24 hours a day. After that, we're going to open this up. We're going to clean them real well, and we're going to get going on step two. We'll see you guys on the next video.